This is Agile in 3 Minutes, the simplest podcast that could possibly work. My name is Amitai Schleyer. When do you do your best work? I don't mean in a coffee shop or late at night, though if you can choose to work in those ways and you're not doing it to avoid productivity-killing offices or hit hard-to-sustain deadlines, then you might already enjoy many of the underlying conditions enabling your best work. It's those conditions I'm getting at. When we attempt to work through fear, hunger, interruptions, fatigue, or other stressors, we don't usually have our most creative ideas or take our most effective actions. Perceived pressure or danger tends to limit our patience and narrow our focus, biasing us toward actions that feel safer, even if they aren't as safe or as effective. No matter how much skill or awareness we've acquired lately, Under stressful conditions, we likely won't apply much of it. For new learnings to maximally improve our outcomes, we must systematically remove needless stressors from our working environment. We need to feel generally safe to invest some money, change some code, make mistakes while they're still cheap, and learn so that we can deliver what's truly needed. There are many ways to contribute to a feeling of workplace safety. One is to arrange more situations in which it's acceptable for us to be wrong. Not too dangerous, not too expensive, not too late. In software development, one bundle of highly effective risk management techniques goes by the name extreme programming. Another way to build safety is to give everyone power to stop the line if they believe the work might be proceeding unsafely. We don't need to worry they'll pull the cord too often. We need to worry they won't pull it often enough. Even after 99 false alarms, the next one could save our business. Every time someone stops the line, we'd better thank them profusely, ideally where everyone can see. Another route to safety is to either avoid root cause analysis or be disciplined about getting to the root. It's never the person nearest the visible mistake. And if we point a finger at them anyway, no analysis is needed to find the root cause for why everyone now feels much less safe. All our efforts are undermined if, when the going gets rough, we suddenly stop looking out for each other. Without a feeling of safety, we won't apply much of what we've learned and won't take many chances to learn more. With safety, we're free to aim high, draw on all we're capable of, and deliver the best within us. This has been Amitai Schleyer delivering an increment of Agile in 3 Minutes, the simplest podcast that could possibly work.